Hey everyone. So today we're going to be talking about concealer and more importantly how to make your own corrector. Now I've spoken about correctors before because I'm absolutely in love with them, still am. Whereas years ago I think, I don't think the trend is so much now, but there used to be that the concealer under the eye would be really, really light. And I never quite understood that. And the correctors are so good because when they're placed underneath the eye, they brighten as opposed to lighten the skin. And this becomes so important the deeper our skin tones get because there are, you know, women of color have, have lots of issues with ashiness. And sometimes they can get discoloration around the mouth as well. And these correctors absolutely counteract that and brighten these areas. So sometimes it's necessary to put them, say, around the mouth and then put foundation over it. And sometimes, we do it the other way around, we put foundation and then put the corrector over. But regardless of your skin tone, a peachy, bisky, salmon-y color under the eyes will brighten and make yourself look better. Now, Bobby Brown does them, Makeup Atelier do them, Eve Pearl does them, lots of different ones on the market, but let's just say you've got a concealer and you wanna make it into a corrector. All you're gonna need is a lipstick that is either pink like a fuchsia pink would be good, or a pale pink, depends on your skin tone, or an orange lipstick. Now I'm using lip tars in the demonstration that you're just about to see in a second, but it doesn't matter, lip tars by OCC, lipsticks, it's all the same principle. You literally just take a tiny bit of the lipstick, place it in with a concealer, and swish it around. And the color adapts in the um, concealer. It also makes it go on really, really smooth under the eyes. And I'll show you a couple of different colors as well as we go on. But this is something that you can mess around with and play. And it's an excellent way, and I've spoke about this in a video that I will post shortly, about finding your correct foundation for your skin type, because we have so many different, not only skin types, but so many different options out there and colors, it's hard to know where we go. So coming up now is the demonstration of how to make a corrector and I hope you enjoy it and have a go at it. It really doesn't matter what you use and remember less is more when you're adding color to it and see how you go and I'll see you in a second and here's the demonstration. Bye bye. Okay so here's a bit of concealer and this is by Ben Nye. It's a really pale concealer but you can't quite see that here but hopefully by the end when I compare the two you will be able to. We're going to start by adding some lip tar and remember you can use lipstick. I'm going to use an orange here called Banji. And all you want to do is mix the two together. Now doing this in a little pot makes more sense because you can keep it, it's not great, but I'm using a stainless steel palette just to show you. Now add more color as you go along, but best to kind of go sparingly and add rather than put a load in. So just mix the two together and you can see that it becomes more sort of orangey based. And correctors are so good. And here's it on the back of my hand. And what I'm gonna do now is compare the concealer before and after so you can see the color change. Now we're just gonna do one more and this is where the concealer by MAC is NW25. So I'm gonna take some out and I'm gonna apply another lip tar. This time I'm applying one called Fem, which is a very sort of pinky color. And I'm gonna mix these two together and I cannot stress this enough. This looks so, so beautiful under the eyes on a skin tone that's sort of NW or NC35, NC40. It really brightens up under the eye. Wonderful. So there it is on the hand, and here's one I popped in a pot. And I put that in the microwave, and that's what it looks like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.